The 5 Best Budget Laptops for Photo Editing in 2022 In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the best budget laptops for photo editing in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, we've put together a list of the 5 best performing budget laptops for photo editing currently available on the market. Links for all the laptops mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. Let's get started. Best Laptop for Photo Editing Under $1,000? Apple MacBook Air 2020 M1 In a lot of ways, the MacBook Air needs no introduction. If you were looking for an Apple laptop in the $800 to $1,000 range, you were looking at the MacBook Air, full stop. It's an excellent laptop with an ultra-sharp 2560 x 1600 Retina display. That's an improvement you'll notice over FHD by quite a bit and will allow you to edit your photos in much more detail. On top of that, the screen is perfectly bright and covers 100% of the sRGB gamut, exactly what you hope for in a laptop for photo editing. In terms of performance, this particular model of the MacBook Air features the new M1 chip, which is an 8-core processor with a clock of 3.2 GHz. That alone will provide plenty of performance for photo editing and some pretty heavy multitasking. However, it only comes equipped with 8GB of RAM, which is below average for laptops in this price range. But it shouldn't limit you in any way thanks to the great harmonization of iOS. The MacBook Air, as the smallest of Apple's lineup, only has a 256GB SSD. That's going to require you to lean a bit more heavily on external devices than you would with a bigger internal storage drive, but it's still going to be enough space for all your apps, core files, and a stock of 4K pictures. The MacBook Air also has no dedicated GPU. Instead, it's processing all images and video through the CPU. This will still allow you to perform photo editing and some light video work, but may be restrictive when it comes to more intense video operations. Apple's connectivity problems are a long-running joke with a painful punchline. There are only two USB-C ports, one of which functions as the power port. This isn't great if you're doing something like photo editing, which can require a lot of peripheral devices and connections. To be fair though, this is the only major downside to this laptop. On the brighter side, the MacBook Air is wonderfully portable. It's a 13-inch laptop that's roughly 0.6 inches thick, so not only will it fit in most bags, It'll take up extremely little space in doing so. Plus, it's only about 2.8 pounds, which makes it one of the lightest laptops on the market. And with an aluminum case, you're not sacrificing durability. And even better, the 18-hour battery life means you'll be able to go literally all day without charging, as long as you avoid intensive tasks. All in all, the MacBook Air is a terrific budget laptop for photo editing. It's got an excellent retina display with accurate and rich colors, which will make tasks like sharpening images and saturating colors a breeze. Admittedly, it comes up short in terms of storage and connectivity, but you can easily work around that. The bottom line is, if you're looking for the best laptop for photo editing under $1,000, the Apple MacBook Air should be at the top of your list. Best Laptop for Photo Editing Under $1,000 Runner-Up Asus ZenBook Flip 13 the Asus ZenBook 13 comes with everything you need from a laptop for photo editing. It offers a similarly performing display to the MacBook Air, while also being noticeably better in almost every other category. It's a highly portable and efficient laptop with a great display and classic design that won't look out of place at a meeting with your MacBook Air fanboy co-workers. What makes this such a great laptop for photo editing is the level of display quality that's very rare to find in a laptop especially one that costs less than $1,000. The resolution is only 1080p, but that's still going to be extremely sharp on a 13-inch display. The real goods are in the panel. The laptop comes with an OLED panel which is extremely bright and produces rich and accurate colors. With professional grade 133% of the sRGB and 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamuts coverage, this is by far the most accurate display in the sub-$1,000 category. In addition to brightness and color accuracy, the display also features a touchscreen. Combined with the optional Asus Pen and 2-in-1 functionality, you'll be able to easily edit your photos in tablet mode using a stylus. Under the hood, it becomes obvious how much Asus has leaned into the display as the primary selling point for this laptop. If you're not used to pricing out display-forward machines like this, you'll find that it's a bit light. 
However, the 11th Gen i5 processor with a speed of 4.7 GHz will make quick work of any photo manipulation you're looking to do, including complex multi-layer edits. The memory is a bit light for what we like to see in a media laptop. However, the 512GB hard drive can be easily supplemented by external backups. The 8GB of RAM also isn't terrible, but a lot of other laptops at this price point are going to be able to do a bit more heavy lifting if you decide to start experimenting with video. However, for photo editing, it's more than enough. The ZenBook is also one of the most portable laptops of 2022. At only 2.87 pounds and 0.55 inches thick, it will easily fit into any smaller bag and won't cause any issues if you have to carry it around for longer periods of time. At up to 14 hours, the battery on the ZenBook 13 is capable of a full workday on a single charge, though increasing the brightness or putting demands on the powerful but also very power-hungry CPU could drop that significantly. Since it has USB-C fast charging, it's going to be a lot easier to quickly top up throughout the day. However, that USB-C charging takes up one of the only three ports available for peripherals, only one of which is a USB-A port. There's also an HDMI port for connecting to external monitors. However, there's no SD card reader if you do edit your own photos. Overall, the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 is an incredible budget laptop for photo editing. Similar to the MacBook Air, you get a quality portable laptop with professional level display. Unlike the Air, however, this laptop features a touchscreen with two-in-one functionality and support for a stylus, which will make your editing sessions much more comfortable and enjoyable. Best Laptop for Photo Editing Under $800 Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 The IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 comes with a 1610 QHD display, 2560 by 1600 which gives you an incredible amount of detail and a larger space to work with than a lot of other laptops in this price range. The max brightness of 350 nits is solidly above average for a mid-range laptop, allowing you to make out more detail, even in brightly lit environments. Perhaps the most important factor for photo editing is color fidelity. The IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 covers 100% of the sRGB gamut, which is somewhat of a rarity in the sub-$800 category. Recently, Lenovo has trended towards using more cost-effective and power-efficient AMD processors. The Ryzen 5 5600H in this laptop still has a reasonably high max clock rate of 4.2 GHz, but more crucially, it has 6 cores and 12 threads. The higher core count will not only make this a better laptop for complex tasks and multitasking, but could also put some light video editing on the table. The lower RAM does mean that this isn't a laptop you'd want to use consistently for video, even with a higher core processor. However, 8GB is more than enough for photo editing and any other work you need to do to support your creative business, like web design. It's going to be hard to find a display-forward laptop that's suitable for photo editing that's going to have more than 512GB of disk space. But since an external hard drive is already a must, that's rarely going to be a point against it. The biggest downside to the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 is going to be the portability. At 0.72 inches, or 18.2 millimeters thick, it's not any thicker than a lot of laptops in 2022. But it's 4.4 pounds, or 2 kilograms, which is almost getting into gaming laptop territory. On the other hand, its excellent battery life is averaging us out to a B on portability. Under light usage, the IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 will consistently hit 10 to 11 hours, and even under heavier use, you can expect 6 to 7 hours for most tasks. Connectivity-wise, the laptop comes equipped with two USB-A and two USB-C ports, and a full-size SD card reader, which is especially nice if you're shooting and editing your own photos. Overall, the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 checks every box you could want from a budget photo editing laptop. It has the best display we've seen on a laptop under $800, and combined with a large screen, performance, and connectivity, it's hands down the best budget laptop for photo editing under $800. Best Laptop for Photo Editing Under $600 Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 So far, all the laptops in this video had an extremely accurate color reproduction. However, once you drop below $600, it's nearly impossible to find a laptop with a display suitable for professional use. And so, the display on the Flex 5 is only capable of reproducing 63% of the sRGB color gamut. That isn't terrible, especially at this price point. 
But it makes it hard for us to recommend this laptop to professionals. If you absolutely need a color accurate display, as you should have for photo editing, consider saving up an extra couple hundred bucks before you pull the trigger. In terms of the actual display, the Flex 5 features a 14 inch screen with 2 in 1 functionality. It's a full HD IPS panel display, which is still going to produce rich, sharp images and allows you to interact with them directly. This version of the Flex 5 also ships with a digital stylus, which will allow you to make better use of the touchscreen. Performance wise, it's equipped with one of the better processors you'll find for a laptop at this price the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U. This is technically a previous gen processor, but that usually means a much larger cut in price than in performance. It's a 6 core processor with a clock rate of up to 3.2 GHz. That's not quite as quick as some of the current gen offerings, but the extra cores make it much more feasible for multitasking. The included 16 GB of RAM is going to give you a lot of speed and multitasking ability as well. The hard drive is the main area where you'll be taking a cut on this laptop. It uses an SSD, which means good speeds and is going to be better than a larger HDD might be. But it's only 256 gigabytes. That's going to necessitate a lot of careful file management and more rigorous backups. Besides that, there's no dedicated GPU. But the extra cores in the processor means that you're not going to be drawing as high a percentage of power for graphics processing tasks. Connectivity-wise, there's plenty of support for external devices with two USB ports, a USB-C port, a media card reader, and an HDMI port to connect with larger displays. In terms of construction, the Flex 5 is roughly 0.8 inches thick, but weighs only 3.6 pounds. It's not the most portable option on our list, but it's pretty good, especially for a Lenovo. The battery life is also surprisingly good, with up to 9 hours of light use. As usual, this will become around 5 to 6 hours if you're going to edit photos on max brightness. Overall, the Lenovo Flex 5 is one of the best laptops for photo editing under $600. Admittedly, the display isn't capable of producing highly accurate colors, which is crucial for photo editing. But neither does any other laptop in this price range. Apart from that, it's got everything you need to edit photos. Lots of performance, large display, 2-in-1 functionality, digital stylus, and lots of connectivity, including an SD card reader. Dollar for dollar, this is one of the best laptops on our list. Best Laptop for Photo Editing Under $400 Asus VivoBook Flip Like its more expensive siblings, this version of the VivoBook Flip is a 2-in-1 with a 14-inch touchscreen. It's still an FHD. 1920 by 1080 IPS panel display, so you're not losing any of the image quality, even with the downgrade in price. The processor is an Intel Pentium Silver N5030, which is a couple of years old, and even then not as fast as a lot of other processors in its generation. It does have four cores, which means you'll still get a solid amount of work capacity and a max clock rate of 3.1 GHz, which isn't bad. The thing that's more likely to slow you down is the 4GB of RAM. The hard drive in this laptop is a 128GB SSD, and a lot of that is going to be taken up by core system files. By the time you add your photo editing software, it's going to be a gamble on how much, if any, room you still have for your photos. In terms of connectivity, there are no full-size USB ports, which makes connective external drives tricky. There are two USB-C ports, a micro USB port, and an SD card slot, which still gives you options for getting your files on and off, but it will be a little trickier. There's also a micro HDMI port, which means you'll need a specialized cable or adapter to connect it to larger displays. You do gain a bit of portability with the smaller components. It's only 0.6 inches thick and weighs 3.3 pounds, which makes it one of the thinnest, lightest options on our list. However, that's offset slightly by the shorter battery life. Asus talks up the battery on this one quite a bit, but it doesn't seem to last much longer than 6 hours under any sort of use. With that being said, the Asus VivoBook Flip is one of the best laptops for photo editing when shopping on a really tight budget. It's obviously far from what we'd recommend to professional editors, but given the price, it offers solid performance across the board. All right, guys, these were the top five budget laptops for photo editing available on the market in 2022. Be sure to check out the description to find out the most up-to-date prices of all the laptops mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and like the video, consider subscribing to the channel. 
We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market. So if you want to stay updated on the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you soon.